Hope you're doing well. Colin Knives here. Hopefully you can see this. Um, I have a uh, knife here. It's actually one that I had boxed up, um, ready to uh, mail out this week, and then the uh, customer um, decided the last minute they didn't want it. But this knife uh, is 52100, but it's got a heavier grind on it than I would personally use. And I've decided that I'm going to uh, keep this knife. And, um, but for me to keep it, I need to thin it down some. Right now, it's uh, currently a full flat grind. Uh, it's hard to see. It's a full flat grind. But it's really robust as far as the grind goes. So I've got a um, piece of felt on a flat platen here and I am going to convex this down to thin the edge out um, for my preference. And what I thought is I would uh, just kind of um, video a little bit of this. I'm going to start at 120 and go up to 400. I won't show you all of it. Um, but even if you're a hobbyist and you have a, uh, uh, say, a 1x30 grinder, same principle works if you want to thin out a knife. Um, this again is like a heavy felt, gives me just enough um, flex for the convex. And of course I'll be using um, a, a coolant system to, uh, to help uh, maintain my temper, keep everything cool. So uh, let me get set up and we'll show you a little bit of this. When I get this finished, um, I'll actually, it's got a, I actually, when I did this knife, I hand sanded it. Um, I'll hand sand it again. Um, and then I will, um, etch it just to kind of give it that black finish for that 5200. So let me get set up and we'll come back.
Okay. Try to get where we can see this. So all I've done is I've started, and I'm pretty much where I want to be for this. And convex it down about halfway. And there's the other side. You can see the, the bevel on the other side. So now I just need to start refining that. I'll thin it out a little bit more, but that's what I'm doing. I, I'm not going to take the convex up to the top. I'm just bringing it down, thinning out the edge. All right, so we'll go ahead and work on this and then we'll show you what we got. All right, here's the knife off the grinder. As you can see it. I went ahead and cleaned the whole knife up. It had this uh, a swedge on it I didn't like. So I went ahead and removed the swedge. knife uh, if you can see that is the original um bevel sharpened bevel now we'll have to um resharpen it but it was i think this knife was about 25 thou behind the edge i mean it was crazy thick too thick for me to use so now you're looking about 10 thou behind um that edge bevel there so i thinned it down quite a bit removed that swedge so got a nice taper coming down to the tip now I don't think that I will hand sand it you know this is took it up to 400 grit and then um, I put a, uh, a 600 no a 800 grit um, conditioning belt on it so I'll go ahead and and etch it like it is just to kind of force that patina on it because I'm gonna be using this knife uh, is like a fishing knife. So I want to go ahead and force that patina just to you know, help protect it from uh, initial rust. But if you need to, um, you know, you're a hobbyist, you have that one by 30 and you need to thin a knife down and you want to um, convex it down, you can um, use that hard felt. And I want to say I got that felt from um, Granger Supplies, where I think I ordered it from. But this is a hard felt, hard um, felt that I adhere uh, to my platen. So, makes uh, convex and easy. And you can use leather, you can use Sorry, a, I don't know that. you can use a um, slack belt, but uh, that felt works nicely. So I hope somebody finds that uh, useful. Take One last it. thing, I'm gonna go ahead and darken the blade just then. So there it is, darkened blade. I may have, well, I'm sure that I'll probably have to um, reheat the Kydex sheath to uh, tighten it up since I uh, thinned the blade and also remove that swedge. But yeah, that's just little thing. So there you go, take care.